Hello everyone, you guys welcome back to today's uh, episode. I am super excited that uh, you guys came, so thank you for stopping by. Uh, my name is Livingstone Immunity and then this is Be Real with the Livingstone Immunity. So basically what we do on the channel is to try to talk to young adults, inspire young adults to be better and then reveal certain insight and certain tips, uh, tips on living a better life. For the past few weeks we've been uh, talking about the testing secrets you should know about life before you die and today we will be talking about secret number 13 and this is the last secret uh, for this series and then next week we're going to start a new series. I just want to appreciate everyone who started this series with me and those who've who have been learning so much from the series i really appreciate you all thank you so much and for those who have been sending in messages dms and sharing uh, my work uh, i just want to say i love you all thank you thank you thank you so much and also to my girlfriend Brittany, who has been my greatest uh, support system and who has always encouraged me to keep me where i'm doing i just want to say that i love you so much Brittany. And thank you for always uh, being there for me so today we'll be talking about secret number 13 and the title is find time to pray yeah I know most people are not uh, religious most people don't actually believe in God or believe in prayers they just uh, want to do uh, your work and believe that hard work is gonna pay you put in an effort and then you get the desired result uh, I'm a Christian. Uh, I'm a Christian. I, I'm not ashamed of that. I'm a Christian. I, anywhere I go to, I always want to talk about that. Hey, I'm a Christian first. And I believe in God. I, I believe in, in prayers. And I want you to believe in prayers also because prayer actually works. And God is in the business of answering prayers. Uh, True this, there are some situations that uh, beyond our human control. There are some situations that uh, physically we do not have control over and we cannot uh, get a solution to it and we just have to turn to a greater force. We just have to turn to uh, a supreme being which is God. You necessarily do not have to be a Christian to believe in God. You can be a Muslim, uh, you can be a uh, Hindu, whatever, whatever religion you 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 belong to whatever religion you belong to just uh have a god over you have a god over you and a god you pray to a god you pray to so i'm not gonna force anybody to, uh, you have to come to christianity i'm, I'm, I'm not gonna force you. i want you to to know christianity for yourself and you can be a muslim uh i love i love muslims my my grandparents were muslims <laughs> so i have like an islam uh, background so be it Muslim or Christian or whatever religion you you belong to just know that that uh, there is a greater force that is far beyond our, our understanding and we should always pray to, to this great force and we shouldn't pray only when we're in trouble we should also pray when everything is okay just give thanks and prayer isn't something you have to do for us like the way they do in Africa where they pray for us five hours six hours seven hours eight hours praying now because the Bible says pray without ceasing uh, you can just wake up in the morning and just say thank you Jesus for for today and it's as, as simple as that thank you Jesus for waking me up today as simple as that that is a short prayer that is it. that is a short prayer before you 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 go out uh for your daily activities oh jesus take control god god take control and as simple as that that is a strong that is a strong prayer and if you're a family man you have a wife and children it's really beautiful when when you guys pray together so as a family always find time to pray together and study study the bible together because a family that prays together stays together that's just a bit of truth. So those of you who are looking for the secret of a long lasting marriage, I think one of the secrets is prayers. You you guys need to come together and, and, and pray together. And I really, really appreciate my partner, Brittany, who has been my girlfriend for a couple of months now. And uh, I really appreciate that because we always study the Bible together and we always pray together. 
though we live in different states uh, I live in Maryland and then she she lives in Virginia but we always FaceTime uh, each other every day and then find time to to pray and study the Bible together so you too can also do that in your relationship you can always find time and create time to pray with your partner and study the Bible with your partner and as I said before if you found a man you can always do this with your family it's really, really important that you uh, always create time to, to to pray no matter how busy you are because I, I get it's a lot of people always busy and that's why they don't have time to pray there you're always busy no matter how busy you are you should always create time please try and create time uh, for prayer we we can never uh, underestimate the the power of prayer prayer is, is actually a powerful tool it's how we communicate to the father it's how the our father uh, communicate to us and I believe that prayer is is man's greatest power prayer is one greatest power everyone should uh, develop the habit of, of praying and when you pray I just want you to believe that your prayers have been answered you most of the time when we pray to God and our prayers are not answered number one is because of unbelief you praying like is God really gonna answer and so my prayer so what number one is unbelief and number two you're praying for something that you don't need you're praying for something you don't need and I believe that God has like a better plan for us so when we when we're praying for like uh, a, a tiny house you, you're praying for for a tiny house and God has a great plans for you to give you a mansion and when you pray for a tiny house, God may necessarily not give you the tiny house because he has greater plans for you. He want to give you a mansion and he's going to be like, son, uh, you may not need this tiny house now because I have greater plans for you. I want you to give you a, a, a mansion. So God may, God may not give you the tiny house, but he will give you the mansion. So always uh, try to pray to God and ask for, for guidance and direction so you know that you're moving uh, on the right path and for those of you who uh, say you don't know uh, your purpose you don't know how to find purpose I think one way to to find purpose is just by praying to God and God created you God give uh, gave you a gift so he'll definitely tell you uh, the gift that he has he has given to you so always find time to to meditate it's a great life and fulfilled life uh, if you have time to meditate and and, 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 and pray it's really really wonderful it's really wonderful uh great people out there most of the great people most of the successful people i know they they know that prayer plays a major role in in in, in their life they they understand that prayer is important they understand prayer is is important talk about muhammad ali talk about steve jobs talk about uh, even people in in the uh, uh, comedy industry like Steve Harvey these are guys who believe in prayers and prayers actually brought me to where I am today I, I wouldn't be here I wouldn't be in front of you talking to you or you listening to me if not for prayers I believe God has always had my back right from day one and he has been the one uh, guiding me and then pushing me to to do what I do so you can pray for your family you can pray for your country you can pray for your neighbors you can also pray for your enemies because the bible says pray for your enemies so uh pray for those people you have our uh, family members who are struggling always put them in your prayers whatever you, you you're facing through you can always talk to god uh in prayers are you, are you uh facing uh, masturbation are you facing having challenges with uh, pornography are you having difficulty at school are you having difficulty in your business are you having difficulty in your family are you having difficulty any areas of your life even finding purpose or, or if you have uh, any sickness in your body or any uh, mental illness whatever you're going to just or uh, find time to pray so this is this is what I want you to do I want you to to pause this video to uh, press this uh, podcast and just take like one minute to pray to God and first just thank God for for everything and then talk to him what whatever you're going through just just talk to him I know he's there he's listening and he's gonna answer your prayer you can you can post and 
call your partner and your kids and pray together and also uh, i want you to add this to your daily routine like uh, a time for prayers uh, this year their daily routine so you can always uh, create time and have the time uh, for prayer so you can you can pause and just say short prayer okay just uh, just pause the video post the uh, post the, the podcast and, and say short prayer okay you know how how did you feel after after saying the, the prayer how, how did you feel i uh, i bet you you felt something in you for those of you who uh, this is your first time praying and I just want to say you you've started something great in your life and I do not want you to stop stop here I want you to continue you started something in your life and I want you to continue keep keep praying and uh, make this a part of your life and make it something you do regularly and I believe that at the end uh, God is gonna answer all your prayers, whatever you you believe in God for, whatever you want God to do for you. I know God is gonna answer your prayers, and I personally, I'm gonna continue praying for you all. My my girlfriend and I we're gonna pray for you all, and uh, I just wanna tell you that uh, uh, God got you, and God God is behind you, and He's gonna see you through. Okay. Is gonna see you through the Bible say that the thoughts I have for you are of good and not of evil so uh, even though things are crazy right now around you uh, things in the country the COVID uh, pandemic is really uh, putting a lot of family through a tough time uh, I just want you to know that uh, God still loves you God loves you so much God loves you so so much and he he will always be there to help you it will always be there to help you and if you want someone to pray with you or someone to pray for you you can always send me a dm on instagram uh on twitter or on facebook you can always send me send me a dm and i will pray with you and if you want to pray with me and my girlfriend you can always uh reach out to us and then we will pray together if you want our uh, prayers in your relationship prayers in your family just reach out to us and we will pray will pray for you okay okay and I don't want you to feel to feel sad about yourself you're wonderful and if no one told you how beautiful you are today how gorgeous you look today or or how handsome how intelligent you are today I want to be the first person to tell you you are gorgeous you're beautiful you're amazing you're handsome you are God's own perfection you are God's gift you're made in the image and perfection of God and uh, I just want to want you to put a smile on your face today and smile brighter because you are a star and the world is waiting to to feel the manifestation to still they are expecting so much from you and do not feel yourself do not feel your generation I love you so much guys and I'm gonna continue praying for you all thank you very much you can like this this video or podcast you can comment and most importantly you can share this message so that other people out there can benefit from you uh, i love you so much and uh, uh next week we're gonna start a new series so next week uh, i have great surprises for you because uh britney and i are going to be shooting a video together uh, we're going to be shooting a video together it's going to be amazing uh it's going to be the first time you guys will see her on my youtube uh, channel uh, many 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 weeks ago I did uh, say that I met a girl and she I'm gonna feature her in some of my videos so yes that girl I met uh, some months ago she's the one I'm gonna feature in my videos and the crazy part is that when I said I was gonna feature a lady in my video I had not asked her out then we just started talking and but deep in my heart I knew I was gonna date this girl and I was gonna get married to her well, this, this is just my first note, so I just want you all to know that she's super amazing and she, uh, I'm going to feature her in one of the videos and uh, we're going to be doing some projects together. So stay tuned and I look forward to continuing this project with you all. Thank you and bye. Love you all.